the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Today we revise Ange 201. For our curriculum, we have six units. We try to cover the main topics of the book. Let's start. The first writing is advantages and disadvantages essay or a for and against essay. For writing this essay, we must follow these procedures. The first paragraph is introduction. The second one is advantages. The third paragraph is disadvantages. And the last one is a conclusion. What should you write in each paragraph? Let's see. In the first paragraph or the introduction, you write the topic name and you show that there are two teams, advantages and disadvantages. Some people like and some people dislike or refuse. For the second paragraph, you focus on the first team or the advantages, and you must give some reasons or some qualities in addition to a supporting sentence or example to support each reasons. For the third paragraph, you go to the other side with the disadvantages. In the same time, you must give some reasons why you are against or some disadvantages, and don't forget to give some examples and supporting sentence to enhance and support your own ideas of opposing. Last paragraph is a conclusion. In this paragraph, you would summarize the main points you have written in the second and third paragraph. In addition, you write your own opinion if the question asks you to write it. Let's see this example. As you can see, the first paragraph is, is introduction. The second one is people for or advantages. The th third paragraph is people against or disadvantages. And the last one is a conclusion. OK, my students. So let's how can we get more ideas about some topics like that? This is a layout will help you to get and write your own essay about any topic or any any issue in the exam. This is the first paragraph you have to can you can get benefit from it. And you can write the topic name here, what about topic name, social media, online shopping, working from home, and so on. For the second paragraph, this is a topic name again, you write it again, and then uh, three advantages or three reasons why you are like, why you like it. And as I said before, don't forget to make or to give illustrations, examples, and um, supporting sentence. For the third paragraph, you go to the other team, the disadvantages, and also you write three disadvantages or three reasons why you are against this topic. And also you write some examples or explanations for your rejection. And the last one is a conclusion. And don't forget to write on your own opinion, your point of view, if required. OK, let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of online shopping. Let's see these some of the advantages and also some of the disadvantages. You can focus on the three main advantages and three main disadvantages and also give some examples or explanations to support or enhance your ideas. 
Let's see another example, please. Working from home. What are the advantages and disadvantages of working from home? OK. Now. We can see some of the previous exams of the. Essay writing. This is the. Question was from the previous exam of 2023. OK. It focus on some people think that e-learning, learning a new language or a foreign language apart from their native language is not important. While others argue that there are many reasons who, who that make learning a new language is a necessity. OK, so we we'll focus on the writing of learning a new or a foreign language. OK, and the focus on the advantages and disadvantages of learning a foreign language. Or you give reasons and reason for and reasons against. If you go to the other writing in 2028. Should women work? Yeah, you're right. If you like, if you are for, if you are against this topic and you write a say about working women okay this is the first writing let's see the second topic the second writing describing a character a biographical profile let's see what what person i can write about i can write about explorer a scientist a player even can be a member of your family so what information should i write about the character like that you can write about his early childhood. You take about. Write about his study, the problems and the challenges he has faced in his life. How he could overcome these problems and his achievements or great work that help people and community or the world. And finally, if you would like to follow him, if you think that he's the best person, you can get him an, an ex, a good example to follow and so on. OK, we have an example from our book, page. 25 about Amal Asafar. This is a great example about Abu Horini. Explorer Amal Asafar. And now I can show how can we get the exam about a person. You are given a table with the information about a, a character. His name, where he was born, the job, the challenges he has faced, any problems he has got, he got in his life and his inventions, his great works. If he got any awards, any prizes and how he could help people and community. And if he died when he died. Now we get an example about Taha Hussein. Let's see. The example here. The first paragraph you focus on his early life when he was born. Which country, which city, and then for the second one, you give more about his education, the problems and the challenges he has faced in his life. And third paragraph about his achievements, his great work and how he could help people and community. And if he got any prizes, any awards, and finally, how, why you like him, why you admire him, and how he could help people and the world. And if he died, when he died. For the third writing, writing a covering letter, it's a very important to get a formal letter. So this is the first letter here. Writing for a job. For writing a covering letter, sometimes you are given address. So you can write the address on the right here. And then after the address, you write the date. But in most cases, the examiner ask you. Not don't write any address so you have to stick to the rules and in, in extractions and don't write any addresses even it is given for you okay now let's see 
How can I start my letter? I start my letter with a greeting like that. Dear Mr. Salman or dear Mrs. Mariam, if you are given the person name, but if you don't know the person name, if you don't know the principal or the manager you are writing this letter to, so you write dear sir or dear madam. And after writing that, here you don't forget here, write RE and then tell me the job you are applying for. Let's see, please. Here you see. I go back to it again. Uh, once more. Dear Mr. Salman, and then after that you write dear RE and then the job you are applying for because you may the stuff or for a new company has different jobs. So you have to please the define which job you are applying for. OK. And then go to the reason for writing why you are applying for the job, why you are writing this letter and tell me which job you are applying for. And then where did you see it? I saw it in your website, in the Internet, on the Latin newspaper and yesterday, last week and so. OK. And for the second paragraph, you focus on your degrees, your education, study and which branch, which major you study and show that you are interested in this company or this office because it's a leading company, it's a successful company, you have a good reputation, you, you give big salaries, high salaries and so, OK? To show that you are interested in the job. For the third paragraph, you write your personal qualities, personal adjectives, which will be suitable for the job. I'm hardworking, I'm honest, I'm self-confident, I'm committed person, I'm patient, OK? And sometimes you are given certain personal qualities in the test, so try to write in your own letter, please. After that, you focus on the skills like computer skills, IT skills, good communication skills. And in addition to the language you can speak, I can speak English and French fluently. I can speak Spanish or whatever the, the language you can speak right here after the personal qualities and skills, OK? And then for the third paragraph, I write my own experience where I worked before and how many years, OK? And if you have a reference letter, or don't, no problem. Let's see for the closing or before signing off, you can say I'm available for interview at any time convenient for you or to you. I hope I look forward to hearing from you. Let's see, please here. So it's closing. And then. You write yours sincerely if you know the person's name. And you write yours faithfully if you don't know the person's name, if you are not given the person's name, when you write their sir or madam. And finally, write your full name, OK? Let's see, please. Some of the skills I can write in the second paragraph. I can use, I can speak language. And the same time, I'm committed person. I can communicate with people. I can deal with people from different cultures. I have IT skills for the personal qualities. You can. I'm cheerful. I'm cooperative. I'm helpful. I'm brave. I'm intelligent. I'm smart. All the qualities which can be okay suitable for the job you are applying for. Okay, this is an example, but not arranged. So in your opinion, we have from one to nine points. Which one you should start with when you write your own letter? We have, let's see, it will be number four. It's the first one, dear sir or dear madam. Yes, OK, will be the first one here, OK. And then the second one is, as I said, RE and volunteer worker. So this is the second point you must write in your letter. Then you start the first paragraph, the reasons for writing, the reasons of writing why you are writing this letter. Let's see which one. So number five, 
will be the first paragraph. I am a student at El Hidayah School. I'm, war I'm writing to apply for a job of a volunteer worker, which I saw advertised in the Gulf Daily News. OK, let's see. This is the model answer of this letter. OK. And you have to follow all the points and the, the, uh, the points and instructions given for the advertisement in the exam paper. And this, some of the previous exams, a fitness instructor is wanted, is required, so the job is a fitness instructor. For the second one, a leading man based a fitness facility is looking for a male or a female gym instructor. So this is another job. OK, when you write the job, so it will be a gym instructor. And for the first one, fitness instructor also. OK. And after writing, please take care of spelling. Try to proofread all what you have done. Let's see writing number four. Writing four is very, very important because we can get in I lets. For a chart writing, we have different types of chart like a bar chart, a line chart, a pie, or a table. So let's see. This is can be a kind of starter, like how can we deal with that? We have now the vertical one, children, and the other one talk about fruits. So if I would like to answer the question, please, first of all, what is the favorite fruit here? Favorite fruit will be banana. How many children chose apples as their favorite fruit? We will find apples, eight students. How many more children chose bananas than grapes as their favorite fruit? You will find here bananas, then grapes will be more eight students. OK, and the last one, how many children chose apples or pears as their favorite fruit? So you can get apples or bears. So will be all of them will be eight plus six will be 14. Suppose now you are given a bar like that, and you are asked to write your own chart. So how can you start your chart, please? You can say this bar chart represents number of children who likes who like different different fruits or fruits of apples, banana, pears, and the grapes. Okay, then. You go to the descriptive writing. You can compare and make contrast between the different fruits. Which one is the highest? Which one is the least? Which one can be similar? Which one is bigger than and higher than? You make more of the contrast and comparison between the different fruit. OK. So please, let's see some of the expressions and verbs you need to make your own chart for increasing or going up you see increase rise rocket climb left grow go up surge soar and so for getting down decreased drop decline fall go down and more if it's stable no change you remain stable constant, steady, stay the same, leave it off, and so. If it's getting up too high, reach the peak, reach a peak, okay, reach the highest point, and so. For getting down, reach a low point, hit the bottom, lowest point, okay, etc. This is again, the same example again, using the verbs, which will show you the trend or the percentage. In addition to using verbs, we cannot forget using some of the modifiers or 
adverbs of degree like sharply, dramatically, significantly, incredibly, significantly, if it's a very, very big increase or decrease. But if you, it's a little bit, can say a little bit, slightly. And if it's go step by step, I can say steadily, okay, or gradually. These are very important, okay, adverbs to show the percentage of growth or decrease. And you can see here the bar chart show the number of tech jobs from 90, okay, 2009 to 20, uh, 2019. And when you are describing the features, you can according to the graph, as it can be seen from the chart, okay, according to the given figures, and you try to write all the numbers or the percentage as it is mentioned and stated in the table or the chart. And keep your own opinion away. Don't write, I think, I believe, because it depends on the facts and data given in the chart or a table. This is an example of writing a chart here. Okay. Now let's go to writing number four, number five, sorry. Writing five is an opinion led essay. For writing an opinion led essay, you have to differentiate between a for and against essay and opinion led essay. Okay. For the right, first writing, we have advantages and disadvantages. And you write your own opinion at the last paragraph in a conclusion, if the examiner asks you. But in writing opinion lead essay, you try to write your own opinion and the point of view in each paragraph from the introduction. So your opinion is the most powerful. OK. Now let's see. This is an example. Uh, are video games a good way to keep fit? We, this I highlight all the expressions which show my own opinion in this essay. From the beginning here, you can say, I believe that, I think that, in my opinion. Some people think, the, OK, this is better way, but they are not totally right, I th in my opinion. And you try to refute their own opinion. You try to weaken their own opinion because your opinion is the most dominant, is the most powerful as, and the strongest, as I said. So please, don't take it like advantages and disadvantages only like the first writing. No, this is a lead opinion essay. So your opinion, you must be the powerful, clear in each paragraph from the introduction, OK? Because you are the strongest. Now let's see another example, please, of that. OK, now about technology, how can technology help people and time? OK, my students. One more example about that. If it's right to get a working about the time and was studying at the same time. So please try to imply and write your own opinion in each paragraph, even from the beginning of writing uh, an introduction. For last writing, writing a formal invitation letter. OK, my students, let's see. 
For writing a formal invitation letter, you can write a letter for your old teacher, a guest speaker, or a visitor to attend a seminar, to attend a meeting, a, a party, and so on. When you write a formal letter, please, first of all, try to keep this please in your, in your mind. Try avoid contractions. Don't use abbreviations. OK, keep it, keep it using a formal style of writing. OK, don't use any slang language or uh, informal style of, of writing. Now let's see how can I start my formal letter, please. In writing a formal letter, as you can see, you write the address if required, and then after the address, you write the date. OK. And for the other person, sometimes you are given the person of the other name, so you write their Mr. or their Mrs. and write his name or her name. If you are not given the person names, you can write their sir or madam. OK, my students. And the first paragraph is you write the reasons for your own letter. But before getting reasons, you can tell me who you are. What's your job? As a head of a students union, I would like to invite you to a part discussion in like that. As a, the coordinator of the school broadcast, I would like to invite you to so. First of all, before OK, inviting me for the event or the ceremony, you write which, you, which, which, which job you do, OK? And then for the second paragraph, you tell me more details about the event. Where will be if you have any, if there will be any other speakers and guests to take part in this discussion, what topic we will discuss, and the people who will attend the, celebra the celebration or that event. And how you get information about the speaker or the person you are inviting him. OK, how did you get information about him from a visiting lecture, from a broadcasting program, from TV, from whatever? OK, and then you tell more about the persons who will attend that celebration or event. And if you get some information about the program of the event. OK. And for a formal ending, we hope that you will agree to be a guest speaker and look forward to receiving your reply. If you need any further information, please do not do not hesitate to contact me. As I said, we keep a formal style of writing. And for signing off, yours sincerely if you know the person's name. Yours faithfully if you don't know the person's name. And then write your full name and your job again here. Let's see, please, if you are invited to a party or a seminar and you accept it or you are busy and you will be unable to get it. What? How can you reply for this letter, please? First of all, you thank the inviter for the letter. You thank him for the invitation. And if you accept it, you can show that I would be. It would be a great chance to come. It would be a great opportunity to be with you on this great event and celebration. And you can ask about more details about the program, like the accommodation. You can ask him about the flight tickets or the if there are any speakers and guests on that event. In addition to the. The any other details you would like to get uh, more about the event or the program of the. OK, the discussion. But if you are busy and you will be unable to come or attend that event. First of all, you will thank him again for the invitation. And you give him the reasons why you will be unable to attend that party or celebration because you have a broad engagement. You are busy at the same time. You have another uh, another meeting, another event, 
and you can recommend one of your colleagues to attend in your place and you write if they would can if they have any future events to contact you again okay my students this is my short and the brief revision for inch 201 best wishes and good luck and inshallah see you next semester